Hi, this is Peter again. Um, I've created this video to show you how you can interface with an X10 device with Eva to turn your lights on and off. And what I've already done here is the um, switch here to my lights. I've replaced the existing one, which was a dimmer switch, and I've put in this X10 unit here. And you see, I can turn the lights off here and turn them back on again just by switching that. And that's hooked in um, and able to communicate with the uh, Insteon controller via the electrical circuit in the house. Now, I don't want to go into you know what it takes to put that in, but basically the instructions in there are fairly straightforward. And I think anybody with a screwdriver and knows how to turn off the power in their place can do it safely. Uh, so what I've done next is I've already created inside of Eva um, an X10 zone that I've called um, lights and I'll ask Eva now to display that for me. Yes, Peter. Display my zones. The list of your zones is displayed. Okay. Tap on the zone to send an initialization command to a new device that you have waiting to join this zone. To delete a zone, say delete and the item number. So she's listed the zone that I've created there. Now the first time I want to set this up, this particular switch here has a little button you can press underneath here. And if I hold that in for a few seconds, you'll see it beeps and the lights turn on off. And now the little indicator light is flashing there. So all I have to do in EVA is just tap on um, that zone I've created and that'll register this thing as the A1 zone that I've created. I am sending the initialization command for this zone. Okay, so she's sending the instruction to that to say register it as A1. takes a few seconds okay so now it's registered and it understands that it's supposed to be on zone A1 so now I can basically just tell Eva to turn on the lights well they're already on so I'll tell her to turn them off yes Peter turn off the lights and it takes a couple of seconds because of the delay with talking to the service and also too that I've got a password on there so that the lights are turned off. that adds a little bit more of delay so you can see that she's turned the lights off and again obviously this can work from anywhere you don't have to be on your Wi-Fi network or anything and I'll turn them back on again yes Peter turn on the lights There you go, and then back on again. So that shows you how easy it is to register it. And I mean, really replacing that uh, switch in there took me about 10 minutes to do that. And it was, I think it was $20 for that switch. So that if you have the Insteon controller already, the 2412N, which was about $120 or something like that, you can start controlling all sorts of things in your house. All right, hope you enjoyed it.